Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today I am doing a reading for Capricorn, a general reading, and we will see what is the energy right now for Capricorn. Just one card, please, Spirit. One card for Capricorn. What is the... Ah, Judgment. Okay. So, <clears throat> Judgment, let's see. Um could be somebody's awakening, maybe coming to some type of decision, maybe redemption, renewal, maybe even some self-reflection. Ah, I know what it is. They're letting it go. Whatever it was that was upsetting them, they are starting to trust in God and letting the divine timing come in. Let's see, <clears throat> what else for Capricorn? Knight of Pentacles, yes, divine timing. Slow and steady wins the race. There could be um, some type of um, long-term plans possibly coming in here. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? Some cards for Capricorn, please. Capricorn's reading, Capricorn. Capricorn Spirit, let me see clearly for Capricorn. Okay, we got a couple more here. We have somebody healing here and waiting for their ships to come in. Just that, that divine timing I kind of feel like. Just trying to be patient. Could be a contract, could be uh, possibly marriage with this long-term plans with the Knight of Pentacle offer. Somebody else is coming in here. Ah, oh, the Emperor here. They might be coming in to fight for something. Maybe they waited a long time to come in. Oh, hot bang. Um, I'm only going to take that one because there's so many cards, which is the Magician. Looks like somebody is manifesting this union, possibly. Let's see. What else do we have here, please, Spirit? I have a sword. So there might be some gossip or somebody stabbing somebody in the back. I kind of feel like it's somebody that does not want this union to come together. Almost like it is some jealousy here. Uh, deliberately setting out to hurt somebody, I almost feel like. What is going on? Yeah. This person is healing because of this. Or feels they maybe didn't get an offer. Or maybe lost out on an offer. There's also a new beginning here. Or maybe they feel like a fool. Ah, they want that victory. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify here. Oh, look at that. The fool on the bottom of the deck. And the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. It looks like there might be two offers here. One for the Emperor and possibly someone else that missed the ball. Looks like it might be a, ju a judgment call. Somebody that you're going to have to choose between. One that's going to be very profitable and the other one is not very good. In any case, let's go with that those back and let's get moving on and seeing yeah somebody might have been juggled and bad behavior possibly got along got away with it for a very long time I feel what else do we have here yeah the king of Pentacles and the queen of wands I kind of feel like there's a couple here who doesn't want a certain couple to come together yeah this Queen of Wands wants this money, possibly that the Emperor holds, and does not want these two to come together. Yeah, wish, wish fulfillment is this money um, for this person that doesn't, yeah, I, I kind of feel like they may even step out on this Emperor. Maybe they're in a relationship? Oh, it is ended. It is tied up. It is finished. 
it is wrapped up. It's no longer possibly a divorce if they were married. Let's see. What is the Knight of Pentacles? What does this offer? Oh. Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody here is still healing. Now, it could be one or both of these people because it's out here twice. So whoever this offer is for is healing as well. What is this Four of Swords here? Yeah, they have the courage and the strength to get past whatever this is, uh, this healing. It might even be the Dark Knight of the Souls. A lot of people are going through that right now. Yeah, I kind of feel like whoever th this person was waiting for decided that they weren't going to wait any longer. That if it hasn't happened by now, it's never going to happen. And I'm done waiting, and I'm pulling back my energy, and I'm walking away from this. My ship, that ship just isn't going to sail. And I kind of feel that way about this, not this particular offer. It could be. Um, but it may be an offer that was never intended to come forward. Like, with the Knight of Pentacles, that's going so slow, it's almost backwards, right? But on the other hand, they could be waiting and planning something, because the Knight of Pentacles is a long-term plan, so they may not have communicated this, so this person might be walking away and just giving up on it that's never coming. Let's see. King of Swords, yeah. There could be um, something that wasn't fair before, and with this Hierophant here, I kind of feel like it might have been a divorce. Both keys are in here, they're both giving up their keys, maybe they're getting a divorce, and this person may have found something out with this birds here, communication about something. What's this Knight of Swords? Who's coming charging in here and what's this about? What's the Knight of Swords coming in about? Let's see. Hang on. There might have been a different um, perspective, something came to light with this halo around the head here. Maybe somebody actually had some sense knocked into them. <laughs> I got to feel like, you know, um, they see the light. Something's changed here. And it might have been somebody trying to hold them back. This person, maybe they were married to. Maybe there were some secrets, yeah. There's a little bit of heartbreak here because I kind of felt like there might be some secrets. With that moon here, I kind of feel like maybe somebody was two-faced here. I broke this emperor's heart. What's the magician? Ah, manifesting, manifesting wealth. Now, this emperor could be a woman showing up in their masculine side. And it could be a man, I mean, and this king of swords could be a woman um, just showing up in their masculine side. So take it however it resonates, okay? What's the five of swords? Why is that here? Chariot. Okay, so somebody was very determined to get a victory or, or a success, a winner, uh, to win at all costs, I feel. Like, it wasn't, maybe there was a purpose here, and they totally stabbed this person they were supposed to do this with. And I kind of feel like this person went through a lot because of jealousy or some other reason that wasn't, that's not how it was meant to happen. 
they were supposed to embrace this union and I think there was some jealousy over the power of this person and their manifesting capabilities I kind of feel like this emperor here might have been the one to hurt this person. There was supposed to be a divine union here and they messed it up. They didn't take it. And I kind of feel like whoever this offer was for with this Knight of Pentacles, I think this person didn't communicate anything. I mean, she's looking down the throat like, is your throat okay? Why aren't you talking to me? What's keeping you from speaking what's going on here? And they might just be healing, but there's no communication. So she's walking away from them. And in the meantime, they are getting a divorce or they were married and didn't communicate that. There might have been some lies here with this moon card here. Maybe they're being held back from coming forward to come to this manifester. And in the meantime, it looks like this emperor has been heartbroken because of what they did to this manifester. They were supposed to move forward with this person for this great wealth and have this generational wealth, and they didn't do that. They stabbed them in the back instead, talked shit about them, turned on them. And this manifesto, I feel, just kept moving forward. They lost out on a really great union. They did not see what was right in front of them. They were too worried about the other three people that they had in their life. Possibly that they were romantically involved in. And I kind of feel like this manifester is just manifesting what they want in their life. And is still moving forward and taking that leap of faith on divine timing. Making a judgment call to gain a victory here. What is this for of cups here? Yeah. Standing their ground, yes. Standing their ground, yes. And even through the bullshit, sneaking away from these people or this person, maybe even moved away in the middle of the night, tiptoed out of there and took the swords with them so they couldn't get stabbed in the back anymore. I kind of feel like that is a Capricorn that is trying to sneak away in the night. I feel like there's another Capricorn involved here that didn't see the value of this manifester that is the Emperor <clears throat> who broke this person's heart. I kind of feel like almost illusions here some kind of with all these clouds here there was some kind of illusion or gaslighting or something along those lines blinded by all this rain coming down didn't see what this person was truly about until it was too late and they had already tiptoed away took off maybe even moved from this house to this house you know What's the fool about? Maybe they feel like a fool. What's the fool? Yeah, feeling like a fool, got getting jealous, um, getting juggled by these. There was a third party here. There might even been four people going on here, and they. This was a divine offer coming out of the clouds here, and. This person wasn't seeing her value, or his value. Take it however it resonates. What's on the bottom of the deck? 
Yeah. No truth there. Somebody didn't want to be true to who they truly were. I feel like this magician was very authentic. They had all the tools in their tool case here to manifest exactly what they wanted. They're balanced, they're grounded. With the magician, it's a new opportunity. They are achiever. They manifest what they want, but they act and they're aware. I feel like um, awoken. They have high vibes, you know? Very talented. Creating their own opportunities for themselves. And this other, this emperor could have been a part of it. I wouldn't even doubt that this person was an empress. And it was a divinely guided union that this emperor threw away. So she moved on. Stood her ground. I kind of feel like nobody's ever done that to this person before. Stood their ground and said, hell no, I'm going. See you later. I'm taken off. I moved in the middle of the night. And maybe this other person doesn't know where they moved to, or is watching them, or found them, but isn't coming forward to, to do anything about it, because they know they have to own up to what they did, and speak some truth. And it's possible this person is going to just be on their own, and create their own family generational wealth without anyone. This other person might have been too late coming forward. They made a judgment call to walk away. They waited long enough. And this person, maybe it was a lesson about self-worth. And seeing the truth in themselves about what they have to offer. In any case, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Later.